radio show on Sunday at noon, I believe. Yes, that is true. Give it up for Mr. Martin Phillips! should have applied, Grandpa died. <laughs> and at first I thought, that's the password? <laughs> but my grandfather actually uh, passed away, you know, you know, I already, that's how I got the nickel, so I was like, oh goodness. But seriously, what is the password? <laughs> So whenever anyone says, oh, I'm sorry for your loss, I'm just like, oh, it's fine, it's okay. But I think that's a weird response, because it sounds like I was in on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it went according to my plan. <laughs> 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 Gotta get those bonds, baby. <laughs> Right? My grandfather died the same night this like famous porn star died. So now like those two people are like kinda associated with each other in my head now. <laughs> and, uh, that's like gonna mess me up, you know, like uh, watch some pornography and then, and then like I watch some pornography and then I see some video, video or a big man, this reminds me of Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that should never be said. Uh, <laughs> someone hears that and you know, thinks it's like the wrong thing about my grandpa. Man, it's totally disrespectful. Uh, but hey, hey uh, oh, yeah, who's single here? Anyone single? Well, hey. My grandma is single for the first time. I don't know, it's so if you look like you could be close to her age. Uh, if she thinks that losing a husband's hard, wait till she tries dating in 2018. <laughs> If she has more success than me, I will probably be kind of pissed. <laughs> I mean, hey, Grandma, you're great, but your cookies aren't that good. Uh, I don't know what you're doing, but... Mom did. Uh, but yeah, at my, at my grandfather's funeral, I found out I was a pallbearer, and I didn't know what that meant until the day of the funeral. Uh, I thought that meant I was bringing in a plant or something. <laughs> <laughs> so I got there, and I looked at the cost, and I was like, wait, I'm carrying that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't just me. We had like a group of six guys, and I, I half of so the team was, and it was like me, then my uncle, who was like blind and whatnot, like, then my 12 year old cousin. And I was like, hold up, who is this? <laughs> Uh, here's 
his other jokes. No, I mean, no, I'm like, oh, I thought there's that. So, uh, yeah, there's that part of the show. Right? Let's see these other ones, too. Uh, uh, I ate pea soup for lunch. It's an acquired taste. Uh, not everyone enjoys soup someone pissed in. <laughs> I like that one a lot. <laughs> I, I, I actually, I pee sitting, but I poop standing. So it's like, it's like the nattiest way to shit. I don't even know how it's gonna end up, but I, I'm not gonna clean it either. So that's not manly. That's all the poop to it, man. I just have on my phone and I, I scan barcodes and it gives me the nutritional breakdown. So I scanned uh, Windex. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, Windex has zero carbs, zero calories. Like, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, Windex is good for you. Like, if you drink Windex, you will lose weight. <laughs> The band stands with Dex. I'm saying, I don't know why I just do drug jokes about them. They're a band, they're cool. Uh, 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 there, there's a scientific study that came out on your hurt list, but they say it's okay to sleep with your first cousin. Like, genetically, it's fine. Only, only first cousin, okay? His second or third cousin, slow down, buddy, okay? But after I hear this study, I just, I just think that scientist just has a really hot cousin. Like, <laughs> like he doesn't want it to be weird, and it's just like, hey guys, can't argue with science, so. <laughs> But yeah, you know, they could probably do a study, you know, anything, and they can see him like normal, you know? And it's like, well, hey, technically you can't get a raccoon pregnant. <laughs> 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 if, you, uh, if you didn't like that joke, uh, you're not gonna like this joke. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do a stage for the record. And, uh, Having sex with animals is disgusting, of course. <laughs> but <laughs> if, uh, if you're gonna do it, you should, you should bang a platypus. Because here we out, if you fuck a platypus, you're fucking three different animal kingdoms at once. Like, no other animal tops that. Like, then, after that, after you're done, all you gotta do is fuck three more kingdoms, and you've literally fucked the world. Like, that's a smart joke. Like, it's not fucking a platypus, but like, yeah, you gotta know stuff in that joke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, uh, they say when a woman when a woman first meets a man, within the first five minutes, they know whether or not they're gonna sleep with him. And I hear that and I reflect on my life. And I realize how much time I've wasted. <laughs> 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 I popped out a long time ago. <laughs> and of course, it takes an ant like half a second. Uh, I'm sure to ant at those five minutes, I'm sure a woman has to, you know, figure out who this guy is. You know, that, in that half second, a guy just goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Uh, <laughs> that's how it works. Anyhow, uh, uh, you guys into the new national pastime of curling. It's on the rise, you know. I don't know if you're this, but this one guy, the town of curler, who 
who is on steroids. So, you know, besides curling, you should see him when he's cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> he's on steroids, so it's like, <laughs> I think that's what curlers do about us, they're like maids and butlers, and like, like that, that's how they recruit, they're like, like, hey, we see you bought a pen, we're impressed, <laughs> what could you do as curling that? <laughs> Anyway, I uh, we got off this one. I, uh, I work at middle school, and uh, I have a terrible life. Uh, <laughs> but actually, at our middle school, we had a staff talent show that we were going to put on for students. And uh, I'm pretty I was I uh, like well, I'm, I'm reluctant to do it because uh, I don't know. I can't be telling platypus sex jokes. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I, I'm terrified of the crowd, also. Uh, but if they tell me I suck, I say, oh yeah, well, you suck at math. Like, I've seen your grades. Uh, but yeah, I don't have any jokes, right? But uh, I only thought this one joke that I would try on you tonight. The only joke I thought of is, uh, I was like, you know, so pretend you're in middle school and you're awkward and you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, you're real school. I go, uh, you know, I'm like, hey guys, you know, I'm, uh, I still get nervous when I come up here. But hey, you know what they say, just imagine the audience naked. Uh, so I'm doing that, and uh, I'm a pervert. <laughs> Class tomorrow, I'll be on <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you like that and everything else. Thank you. <laughs>